Experts describe the enveloped residences in Grindavik, southwest Iceland, as the worst-case scenario due to the fast-moving lava and massive lava tunnel beneath the town. Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, is around 20 miles away from the fishing hamlet where dramatic film shows molten lava devouring many homes. Today, the eruption started just before 8 a.m. local time, and at about noon, a second fissure, which is currently a kilometer, 3,280 feet, wide and still expanding. Opened up, experts predict that throughout the next few days, further fissures might surface. There is no end to magma inflow into the tunnel, so as a result, we need to be prepared and focus our actions on the real danger, a large crack opening in Grindavik, major gas pollution from this, and then the possible opening of new eruptions, police chief Vidir Reynason warned, citing the Icelandic Met Office. The president of the country had earlier stated that there was no risk to life, but that there was a chance that infrastructure would be harmed. However, flights into and out of the nation have not been impacted thus far. The news of this morning's eruption does not seem to have disrupted flight schedules, according to an analysis of departure and arrival timetables at the neighboring Keflavik airport. As of the time of writing, no arrivals or departures had any indications of being canceled or delayed. The National Airline of Iceland, Iceland Air, stated today that there is no impact on our schedule or the operation of Keflavik Airport. However, the Blue Lagoon Hotel, a popular tourist destination in the area, was evacuated last night despite reopening just a week earlier. Local media reports state that at least three houses in Grindavik have been demolished. I don't think it's possible to imagine anything worse than it erupting in a settlement and lava flowing onto houses. Med Office expert Benedikt Haldorsson told Aruviv Gudni Johannesson, the president of Iceland, wrote on X that infrastructure may be under threat, but no lives are in danger. Expert in natural disasters at the Icelandic Meteorological Office, Lovisa Mjol Guðmund's daughter, stated to regional media that it cannot be ruled out that more cracks will open. According to the GPS data, there is a greater input of magma into the tunnel, which raises the probability of further fissures developing. Local time, at 3 a.m., residents of Grindavik were evacuated due to increased seismic activity during the night, according to a report by RUV, the public broadcaster in Iceland. In addition, the broadcaster stated that some 200 of the 4,000 people living in the town have chosen to remain in spite of the advisories. 200 earthquakes were detected last night, according to the National Police Public Safety Department, and at around 5 in the morning, the town of Grindavik is said to have lost power. The Icelandic Meteorological Office reported that a crack has opened up on both sides of the dikes that have begun to be built north of Grindavik. An official further stated that the eruption this morning is around a quarter of the magnitude of the one that occurred in December, Iceland's Civil Protection Agency stated that a Coast Guard helicopter has been sent to evaluate the situation and that the evacuation order will probably be in effect for the next three weeks. The eruption started to the north of the fishing village of Grindavik, and images seem to show the lava slowly making its way towards the settlement after evading the defenses put in place in the weeks following the December eruption. According to the Icelandic Meteorological Office, the northernmost residences in the town of Grindavik are currently only 1,500 feet from lava. Local police issued the following statement. We ask people not to go to the eruption on foot. Police have asked Icelanders not to approach the eruption in any way. The walk is lengthy and the ground is uneven due to cracks and other issues. It is also very cold outside. Furthermore, due to their hectic schedules, all rescuers are unable to pick up individuals who depart on foot. There are gas leaks, cracks, and other hazards in the area. Prime Minister Katrin Jakobsdottir of Iceland has conceded that the eruption that occurred today was frightening. It is, of course, frightening to see how close this is to the town, she said to local media. Naturally, the civil defense has been closely monitoring events on a daily basis. Again, even though we thought it wouldn't happen until tomorrow, I want to emphasize that leaving tonight was the proper choice. Naturally, we are keeping a close check on this area to make sure the locals are safe. Nonetheless, 
it's evident that the locals are severely burdened by this. People are naturally beginning to feel the effects of the pressure. As things are right now, we can see that the lava is moving in the direction of Grindavik. However, even if the southern portion of the rift extends into the ramparts, they might still be beneficial. We are keeping a minute-by-minute -minute eye on the circumstances. Guthni Thorlatius Johannesson, the president of Iceland, remarked on social media, saying, We are still reminded of the power of the forces of nature. Even so, we continue to wish for the best while doing everything within our power to protect people's lives. We are making every effort to safeguard the structures. All of us Icelanders have kind thoughts for the Grindavik locals, as well as for anyone managing public safety and the scene's operations. We are all being tested now. On December 18th, the Svartsengi volcano system began its most recent eruption on the peninsula, causing the closure of the well-known tourist destination Blue Lagoon and the total evacuation of Grindavik, a town of 4,000 people. In the end, Grindavik was spared because the lava flowed away from the town. With 33 active volcanic systems, Iceland has the most in all of Europe. Although there are frequent volcanic explosions in Iceland, until 2021, the volcanoes on the Reykjanes Peninsula were inactive for 800 years. Iceland is a seismic and volcanic hotpoint because it is situated between the two largest tectonic plates on Earth, the North American and Eurasian, which move in different directions. In December, thrill-seekers came under fire for going toward the eruption that was forcing thousands of people to evacuate their homes rather than away from it. It is merely a scene from a movie. American traveler Robert Donald Forrester III stated at the time. In December, four boys, Joy, Holly, Stefan, and Stefan, told the local press that they always go in the direction of Reykjane's eruptions. Our goal is to witness the explosion. We did not, regrettably, get any closer. We've been going to every eruption as a hobby for the past four years, and will keep going. Residents of the area are feeling a range of emotions, the village in question may end up under the lava, according to French tour guide Ail Kermarek, who resides in Iceland. It's incredible to witness, but right now, there's a bittersweet feeling. The Ministry of the Environment was compelled to caution anyone considering approaching the volcano multiple times despite the clear risks. Think about someone other than yourself and obey the requirements of public safety, please, pleaded one spokesperson, added the Icelandic police. There has been an eruption. We kindly urge you to avoid moving toward the eruption and stay in front of the rescuers. Roads and other items should be as easily accessible as feasible. Civil defense officials in the nation issued a warning to the public not to approach the location while emergency services evaluated the situation, and police announced that they had increased their alert level. At the Sunjuka Crater on the Reykjans Peninsula, some 2.4 miles from the town of Grindavik, the December eruption started.